You need to optimize your processes, not just the business side of things, but also how fast your code runs. And we'll look at that in this video. So to be perfectly honest, I am always concerned myself too much with how effective my code was. I built stuff, I deployed it, and if it ran fine, well, then fine. Then about a year ago, I discovered a tool inside of your path studio called Profile Execution. That will visualize where your bottlenecks are inside of your automations, and it can save you a ton of time in the execution side. And by that, you can save a ton of money and make room for even more automations. So let's jump in studio and then have a look. I've built this very simple automation and it doesn't do anything really. Uh, basically, all I've done is I've inserted a number of delays in different uh, parts of the automation so that we can see what it looks like when the profile execution tool runs or monitors this automation. And then we can make some small adjustments here and there and see how much of a difference that really makes. In my project here, I have two files, main and then a file that I, for some reason, called sub A. I think I was going to do a sub B and a sub C as well, but sub A was uh, more than enough to illustrate my point. So main basically has three sequences in it, main one, main two, and main three. And then sub A has two sequences in it, A1 and A2. If we look inside of these, we can also uh, see it over here in the, uh, the outline tree. So what sub A does is if we expand these two sequences, um, the first one, A1, it logs a message, it gets some data, and then processes that data. In reality, these two uh, activities are simply um, delay snippets that delay the process for one second, and then the other one uh, delays it for one second as well. Then in A2, we have another log message, and then we have something that performs validation. Again, it doesn't do anything. It's just a, a delay snippet that delays the process for five seconds. In the main file, what we have here is main one, two, and three. And if we expand all of those, we can see that main one, it pretends to do something for two seconds. <laughs> Then main two, it logs a message. Then it does some stuff 10 times. And what it does is it actually, well, first logs a message that is looping through, you know, some stuff. And it then calls sub A, the sub A file 10 times. So everything that happens in, in the sub A file happens 10 times. And then uh, the main sequence proceeds to main three that basically uh, shuts down uh, some apps or something, again, it's just a delay snippet. So basically this is just, uh, just one big series of delays. And what we can do inside of Studio, if we go to the debug tab up here, is we can go over here on the right-hand side and then there's this profile execution button. If we click it here at the top so that it's highlighted and we then run our project or debug the project, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video while it runs, but you can follow along and it'll, I'll speed it up a lot so it only takes a couple of seconds. But uh, let's uh, run it one time. Oh, yeah, that took a long time. Um, let's see down here at the bottom. One minute and 15 seconds it took. So um, that was just a bunch of delays, as I said. And we can see here in the output window that, you know, what it was doing, looping once, uh, twice, and all of that. And then the interesting part, you know, with regards to profile execution is, of course, if we go over here to where the properties pane is usually somewhere, sometimes it's on the side, depends on the setup in your studio. I have this window called profiling here. And here we can see basically the details of what happened and how long did it take to happen. So uh, we can see here that it spent a minute and 13 seconds and 949 milliseconds in the main file. We can also see that in the sub A file it spent a minute and 10 seconds. And what do you need to be aware of? And this might be sort of a bug, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really a math buff, but some things I do understand. And I do know that 51.2% and 48.8%, that equals 100%. So yes, it did spend 100% of its time doing what it did because what else would it do? But it says here that it spent a minute and 13 seconds in the main file and then a minute and 10 seconds in the in the sub A file. And that doesn't really make any sense because the sub A file was called from the main file, right? Anyways, uh, that's just my little rant. Ah, one more ranting point. 
down here at the bottom, it says that the duration was two minutes and 24 seconds. That is the time of the main added to the sub A. That doesn't make any sense because we saw down here at the bottom of our output window that it ran in a minute and 14 seconds or 15 seconds. So to me, it looks like it's a little bit buggy here. What it does do very well though, is it, it shows you inside of the files where it is spent its time. So for example, if we take the main file here, and sort of expand that. Once we get down to the three sequences, sequence one, two, and three, it's going to show those sequences in sequence um, ordered by where did it spend the most time. And here we spent a minute and 10 seconds in the main two sequence. And we can also see that it spent most of that minute and 10 seconds uh, doing the loop where it called the sub A file 10 times. So if we dig into the sub A file, we can see that it spent 20 seconds in the A1 sequence, which is the first sequence, but out of the two sequences, it's the one that it spent the least time on. That's why it's last in this list. But the A2 sequence, it spent 50 seconds in. And if we expand that, we can see that it spent, well, nine milliseconds doing a log message and then 50 seconds doing that validation, whatever that was. So if we go into the uh, sub A file and go to the A2 sequence, we can see that that perform validation thing is the activity where I had set the delay to be five seconds. And that's why it's taking up so much time. So if instead of setting it to five seconds, I'll set it to 0.5 seconds and then run it again and I'll speed it up even more this time. Just let's just run it one more time. Okay, while it's running, make sure you give this a like if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, all of that stuff. Please. Okay, it's almost done now. Did you do it? Okay. Now it's done. We can go back and, and look at the uh, profile here. And now we can see that it's spent in sub A where it spent like 50 some seconds the last time. Now, because we reduced it so much, it spent uh, only 25 uh, seconds in sub A. And we can see that in A2, it actually only spent a total of five seconds and the rest was spent in sub A doing some other stuff. So why is this so important? Well, because even a few seconds or even milliseconds here and there, if you have automations that run hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of uh, transactions every day, if you can then save half a second on each of those, that translate into a lot of time. I had an automation that I, uh, it was a fairly long running automation, a few minutes, and I saved close to two minutes on it. And if you multiply that by the number of days that it ran, we saved the equivalent of like, I think it was like 13, 14% of time on the execution time. And not only do you save on that license that you have, you can also put more automations into that license and then create more value with it. So, so make sure you take a look at profile execution. It does seemingly have a few bugs. Uh, I'm not sure, but <laughs> you path, if you're watching this, uh, have a look at, at profile execution. And if you know better than me, please put it in the description below so that I, so that I also learned something. If you have any questions, comments, um, requests for videos, stuff like that, put it in the comments below. I would love to answer your questions and, and read your comments. Um, and other than that, if you've already liked and subscribed, hit the bell icon. I will just say thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.